Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is May 10th, 2011. Uh, grain markets started off quite strong here this morning. Uh, things looked a little different as we settled uh, settled back down late in the session. By corn finishing about uh, about a quarter of a cent lower today, uh, after being very strong and testing that 50-day moving average and that current downtrend that we've been in for July, uh, we did that early. And then we settled back down and uh, and put a nice doji in on the chart today. So, um, you know, the technicals right now look a little weaker at the close today, but I don't know if it's going to matter. A lot of guys waiting to see what this report's going to say tomorrow. Looked like guys were in buying early, and when we were not able to go through resistance, they ended up selling it late in the session. Uh, same thing there in beans. Beans finishing three cents higher, very strong early in the day, drifting lower for the rest of the day, and, and settling only a few higher there. A lot of guys anticipating to see what USDA uh, will release tomorrow morning at 7:30, and then for wheat, wheat was very strong early on, up about 25 cents for Chicago wheat, uh, finishing eight and a quarter higher. So just like the rest, we did see a pullback here as we went into the close. Uh, you found early strength and uh, guys taking some profits as we got closer to the close. Uh, so nothing, nothing too big there. Some things that we're going to be watching tomorrow as far as grains. Uh, you've got some estimates for corn. Uh, I think that's where we could see the biggest surprise here. Um, you got the trade right now looking for an average guess here. Old crop carry out uh, sitting somewhere close to 665. So looking for a little bit tighter numbers there. That'll put you that'll put you with a stocks to use ratio of about 5%. Um, so with that, if we see those numbers, we are still uh, we think those might be friendly numbers here tomorrow and could end up seeing a little strength from that if we get something around that 665 area. As far as new crop, we're going to have a look at that again. Um, we're looking for a carryout number, uh, at least the, the average guess, somewhere close to 811. Um, we'll see if that happens. 5.8% stocks to use from there, uh, which could trigger a little bit more buying as well as far as new crop. Planting pace looks like it continues to... Uh, uh, stay at a pretty quick clip here today. A lot of guys I've been talking to out there getting some work done. Uh, guys are even starting beans out there as well. So we're 40% planted right now as a nation. And, uh, you know, we're, looks like we're going to pick some more up here this week as well. But as far as some of the outside markets and some of the other influence we've seen, crude oil up another dollar thirty-two right now, putting us near 104 a barrel. Kind of amazing that it's almost $10 off of the lows that we made here late last week. Uh, you know, after that big slide, we've seen quite a recovery, um, and the dollar down about nine cents today, puts that at 74.81. We were not able to take out yesterday's lows at 74.60, um, so we're still chopping uh, sideways to a little higher here. Um, the trend is still down for the dollar, but we've got a lot of concern over there with with the euro, um, and you're finding a lot of volatility over there that's affecting our dollar here. As far as metals, strong day all around. Uh, we did have a little setback earlier in the day, but gold right now sitting about $14 higher. You got silver up a dollar sixty-two right near their highs today. Looks like they're going to stay strong today as well. Just like we talked in crude, being almost ten dollars off their lows, silver uh, had a low last week here of thirty-three, so right about thirty-three bucks. Currently sitting today with almost a high of of near thirty-nine. So a $6 swing here in the last few days there for silver. Um, and that still looks very strong. We'll see if we can get that close back above 40 and maybe try to get some more guys back along this market, try to carry it back up near 50 again. But, um, you know, we had that flash dip here last week, and now you've got guys entering the long side again. So keep, uh, keep an eye on these charts. They are looking a little bit more friendly, and we are finding some pretty solid closes here today. Uh, as far as the soft markets, with the dollar being down, we have seen some strength there. Sugar up 74 points, finding a little bit of a bounce, but we are still a little negative right now as far as sugar. Uh, with a target near last November's lows, puts that near 20 cents. Um, cotton, finishing limit higher today. Most of the day trading right about, un uh, right about unchanged. Uh, finished 6 cents higher today. Um, th that, those are limits at this point. We are looking for further strength here as we finally closed back above the long-term uh, uptrend that we've been in for quite some time. We found some strength and we're able to close back into that trend, and uh, that may take us a little bit higher. Now, USDA's numbers tomorrow may try to uh, may have some bearing on price again, but we are getting a little bit oversold here for cotton and may find a little strength there. 
Livestock today, uh, a little bit higher. Fat cattle up 34 today. Feeders up, up 45. Um, box beef, though, very strong. Choice up 269. You had select up $1.87. So uh, quite, a, uh, quite a change there. Looks to be a little bit friendly uh, for cattle. Not only that, we do have some Memorial Day buying coming in here that are supporting prices at these levels. Uh, we'll see if that continues here throughout the week, but we did finish a little bit stronger today. You've got cash bids right now near 113. Uh, last week we were trading around that 115 area, but no trades yet this week. Uh, hogs up 95 cents after seeing quite a setback here last week. Finally finding some support, maybe trying to put a little bit of a bottom in in here. Um, you know, we've got Memorial Day buying there as well in the hogs. Uh, the weather's looking to be pretty nice over the next few weeks and warming up. So that may get guys outside, get on the grills here, and start bringing that demand back into the livestock. And we'll see if that is the case or not. But uh, give us a call over here with any questions that you may have. Uh, reach us here at 800-262-7538. Or always, this information is right there on the web for you at allendale-inc.com. And I hope you had a great day today and have a great rest of the week. Take care.